What's crack a folks? Welcome back to King Arthur, where when I reloaded, um, we had a visitor in our midst. He teleported a bit forward, but, um, we're, uh, hello? I, I guess we, we don't attack her? <laughs> we'll see. That uh, broke something. <laughs> well done. Finish your work, human. Oh, there she is. <laughs> we can talk. I await you in the sanctuary. Oh, oh, now we can talk. Ooh, fancy fuck people. So. Can we burst? Oh, now it's a moon guard. But he can still become a fog. Let's see, can I reach yet? Almost. There we go. Uh, please go. There. And I can attack. I like that. Whack him. Can I attack again? No. I think I that only works when I Ready to kill fight. them on the first attack. So For my forefathers. Would be good if we can kill that one. Shouldn't take that much distance to be able to attack him yet, but wow. Didn't do that much damage. I am surprised. Then Ice Fang. Please look that direction. And you can't really do anything useful either. But I guess it's probably best just to stay here and. Well, overwatching doesn't help. Sir Mordred. We can't pull that one. Ready to fight. But if we can pull him to here, yeah, no. How far can she go? We can pull him to either one of these two, but I, I don't think that's possible either. Nope. So, what then? I guess we move... We all move forward. Or he just steps so in. Many offerings. We bind both of them. Kinda sad that we can't deal with the first one. How far can you move? Teleport takes two. We'll see if I can make it. I can. But, oh my god, it doesn't kill him. <laughs> Sad. I am ready. So, yeah. For my forefathers. Well, good luck. Of course he does fuck for him. Crap. Just a Oh well. Oh, of course he frees me. Yeah, Guinevere, uh, good luck. <laughs> oh look, more! Well, now the Cleaves come. They're... They're not gonna be happy for much longer. And one. Right. Uh, two of them are invulnerable. I'm still shocked, but uh, sorry. Only that one isn't in fog form. So freeze you. Can you still attack? Ah, uh, fog form, yeah. 
You can't even target them. That's um, annoying. You already did all your attack. For my forefathers. Hmm. Check yourself. It's fine. So many offerings. Yeah, that does so little damage too. That's crazy. Your orders. I am ready. We do have Overwatches left. So ideally, that will... Um, that will make it so even if they try to attack... Yeah, you just go in front of them. Of uh, Guinevere. Even if they try to attack, they maybe get um, attack first. All right, fine. You and your garbage fuck form. That's where ranged characters really shine. Yeah, there you go. So that triggered an Overwatch. Nice. Yeah, Gwenewere is uh, taking quite a beating. <laughs> that was my fault. So, kill that one. Oh, of course, everybody's frozen. Sigh. There's still quite a bit of way. Yeah, you need to kite them, which is kind of annoying. And I have to waste my teleport on that. To not do much damage, cool. <laughs> it's going great. It's going great. Come on, fog form. No, they do fog form when they're actually in range, say. Should I take? Oh, that's a good question. You don't have enough APU to attack, of course not. Hmm. And yeah, it's gonna blow them up again, of course. I can take them all. Can't kill, can't kill. Love to see it. Now you have one more attack. What is your command? Which is good. You go here and attack that one. I kinda wanna get as many as command? possible out of the blast wave. <laughs> yeah, they can reach either way. But just get out of this attack range. At your service, my lord. We can blind that one. So they do less damage. Because they're gonna run up to us for sure. Time to feed the raven. So, oh they yeah, I was like they didn't explode this time? No they did. What is your command? You have no AP Yeah, you just come here. I am here to serve. And we will see how that goes. Ah, of course you go into fog form, please miss. Of course he hits, even though blind. <laughs> Stop that. Yeah, like a strong ranged attack like Lady Gwinnewear's would take them out like there's no tomorrow. Okay. Can you char... Uh, you probably can't charge with that one. 
They are annoying. For my forefathers. I can take them all. Because they're gonna stun both of them. For my Camelot. I can't attack them. Retreating also doesn't really do anything. Um for king and country. I can't buff. Um that's so annoying. None can stand in my way. Yeah, I have to take that opportunity <laughs> attack. Otherwise, it's just a waste. Um, yeah, of, of on. one person getting frozen for no reason. Fire and steel. And then you, you Overwatch? No, you have no AP. You can Overwatch. None can stand in my way. And you come here and overwatch as well. Okay. Where's action points left? Okay. When we yeah, you can't really do anything meaningful. I mean you could overwatch, but who's gonna run past here? Nope. Yeah, let's go. Three attacks. Calm down, sir. Well, at least we got a. No, that was an Overwatch, not even a counterattack. Okay. Thank God. Oh, of course, everybody gets frozen again. That is so annoying for sure. He's still frozen. Like, how long are you frozen, dude? He was frozen for two turns? That's nuts. So that should, yeah, that should remove the frozen. Remove that armor. Yeah, you can still charge from here. And we're just gonna charge in. And double damage, very nice. Yeah, and here we're gonna get fro- No, we're not, because... You can't even... Kill him. Which is sad. And yeah, you can do one attack. He's not immune being frozen, we just freeze him. He's still gonna explode, so that's not gonna protect us from that. Oh, what? I'm not even bleeding. Yeah, do do all the blocks. Ow. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, well, they're in fog form anyway. For king and so... Your Highness? Fire and steel. Oh yeah, we can knock him back. Only she gets frozen. Okay. He's still. <laughs> like one turn after, he's still completely useless. She is completely frozen. Alright, you. Just get as close as you can. And. You can Overwatch, so let's see. Nice. At least you got an Overwatch attack in. And frozen again. It's not enough to kill me. Calm um, a down moon dude. Well, now you're dead. At least there is that. Did we get another attack? Ah, of course not. Ready cool. 
you can't reach because why would you? Oh my! Fire and steel. Can we reach from here? No. Yeah, here we can. Uh, attack anyway, so just go here. Your command. And you teleport here to add the shield to both of them. Uh, why did I not turn you around? I... Uh, he'll be fine. No counterattack? Rude, guys, stop that. This fucking freeze, I swear to God. All right, that was painful. Especially the freezing was incredibly annoying. All right, give me treasure. At least nobody's injured. And I don't think anybody took vitality damage yet. I mean, I'm sure she's going to summon like a bunch more when we approach her. Do we might as well go to a campfire. And rest up. We still have two campfires left. So we can use those. Now I don't have to use my uh, potions. Just wait, we now go in there and she's like, all right, go have it. <laughs> no need to fight. Yeah, second one to the right and then right up here. Yeah, even further. And then I have to backtrack all the way, but oh yeah, and then we probably get ambushed too. <laughs> But such is the unseely court. I'm gonna laugh if she's like, all right, fine. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Let's take the thing. The moon guys, yeah, the worst is that they explode when they die. Because that really hinders like melee attackers and you really kind of want to pair one melee attacker with one of them so at least only one of them gets frozen but then you get so such little damage and it's kind of yeah. if you have ranged people that's a huge difference so armor first another fine day that protects more cuz Armor, if your attack does not do as much damage as you have armor, it doesn't touch your HP either. It can break some of the armor, but at least you didn't take damage at all for that first attack. And now if we stock up on HP, we're as good as new. Yeah, so Mordor took the most... Um, damage, but that's his role. That's his job to be our tank. And he does a good job in that. I was about to say next time, even when we bring Lady Guinevere and, and the front line, we should bring ranged with us. But then I'm thinking, right, you know, the Fairy Knight is somewhat ranged, and he couldn't really help with the Moon Knights that much either. I feel they were pretty resistant to his bolt. Fairy Knight, I feel, has its ups and downs. Against some enemies, he's pretty strong. But against other enemies, his damage is just negligible. Okay, wrong direction. <laughs> I don't want to get lost just on the last step. 
But at least nobody lost vitality and nobody has an injury, which is amazing. I would have thought for sure in the last encounter someone lost actual vitality and not just HP. But Mordor had timed it perfectly to <laughs> zero HP. And maybe also the unbreakable armor helped a little bit in that. Now, back we go. To take the touch of the moon. And then hopefully get some nice goodies. Yeah, we already... Wait, that's the right... No, we went too early. Of course we did. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't look like what we just fought. And sure enough, it didn't. So on we go to the end of this map, but better safe than sorry, and then have everybody with injuries and lost vitality, and we're not able to send them on a mission. I wonder if Ice Fang will join. I doubt he's going to join our... Um, Oh, it's recruitable. I don't think that would sit well with uh, pretty much everyone else that is on the round table. But we'll see. The pull is interesting. Not gonna lie, but... I don't know if, if just rushing to them with like Sir Mordred isn't better. Oh, hi. You have surpassed my expectations, I must admit. Your sick game is over. You must fight me now. I have no reason to fight you. Not anymore. You have done all the dirty work. My guards have been silenced, and finally, we can talk undisturbed. Start talking, and we will see how it ends. You came for the ceremony of the moon which would be impossible without me. But I won't stop you. Quite the opposite. I will perform the ceremony myself. How helpful you are without your guards. Stop challenging me. I will not fight you whatever you do or say. You'd better accept it. You clearly want something from me. What is it? Your Arthur's fragment and soul tainted our guardian, the Green Knight. It must be destroyed. The Unsteely wouldn't want me to help, but they will never know. Help me? How? Oh. I will endow you with the gift of the moon. That's it. The rest is on you. Go to the heart of the deep wood and kill the green knight. Hmm. Tell me a price, but... Just said... Well, tell me a price. I expect nothing for my assistance. You take the gift, and I will let you leave. End of story. If that is all, then we must begin the ceremony right now. Well then... <laughs> I expected a battle here, but... I was wrong. Two sapphires at least, but... Nothing too interesting, so let's finish this mission and see what happens to Ice Fang. Finally, I can leave this damned place behind. Ice Fang, you served me well, even with your betrayal. Uh oh. Free. Oh, you dead. Leave my cave, humans, and never come back. Yeah, we'll consider. Well, that answered the question if he uh, would join or anything, and nope, <laughs> he just died. What do we get? Um, 11 vitality for armor pissing first attack. Not really. Six temporary HP for defensive stance. Yeah. I can look at it, but... Oh, attacks? 
Apply 14% vulnerability for two turns, plus four damage against frozen units. Minus one turn restoration for incoming burning effects. I think the last one is that important, but... Oh, and Serum Mortar lost exactly one vitality. <laughs> Uh, what does she have? Well, first, the forest with the wandering trails. Only the most daring or foolish knight dares to enter the deep woods of the, of the she. So I wasn't surprised when Black Knight asked my permission for a raid into this green hell. It sounds like a hopeless, if not suicidal undertaking. But the temptation of the legendary treasures hiding an enchanted woodland is strong, especially if I think about the upcoming battles against the beasts of Avalon. Well, go have fun. And uh, don't die. And he can use the experience anyway. So Sir K is level 15. It's nice. So what can you do? Whirlwind. To adjacent units, units, which means uh, friendly ones to the hero gains plus five percent weapon damage per unspent AP from the previous turn. That is not bad because he often can walk up, but then not attack because his basic attack takes. Oh, uh, what can I see? 4 AP, and he only has 8. Extra stun. Wouldn't be bad. But we only have one stun ability. Even though it's... No, it's still 3 turns cooldown. Uh, what else does that add? 1 AP per 3 unspent AP left in the previous turn. Not bad. Here against 3% weapon damage, so 8% in total. 3 armor per 3 unspent AP. Yeah, that's pretty good. AP spent on Overwatch counts as unspent for the purpose of the damage focus skill. That's really good. While well, outnumbered the hero against 1 unbreakable armor and 5 mental debuff resist and physical debuff resist for each chastened enemy. That is also good. I think, yeah, more damage is always good, so we're gonna go with this. And then Overwatch 1 next. Fairy Knight! We actually haven't used the Force Cleave um, much. Weakness, cooldown. What do we really need? Ice Shield's cooldown, not really. The hero arrives at the target tile hidden. That could be useful. Lightning strike, uh, kinda. It wasn't really impressive, to be honest. Killing a unit, it's rare. We could do slowing hex. Plus 10% weapon damage for lightning skills. Is that a lightning skill? No, it's just um, a spell. What else is lightning? Spell ice support. Spell spell hex. Lightning. I guess I have this one, chain lightning. All suffer 100% weapon damage. That's pretty good. And then we can buff it. Yeah, I mean, this one is pretty good. Plus one target. AP goes minus two. Plus 20% weapon damage. I think we're gonna go with this. Again, damage is the best defense. And then you can level up. You can get an ice wall, ray of light, or weapon damage. Eh. Range. Duration. AP cost for well she's our support right so level of protection is reduced by one so 
so two. Plus 20% freeze and chill effect in effectiveness sounds nice. So does this one, can I cast it over people? Three tiles long ice wolf for three turns. We already have this on Sir K and I barely ever use it. Um, here against one AP when an enemy unit dies. Also, I think a really good. Minus one cooldown for support skills. Which ones do we have? We have Globe of Protection, Inspire, and Bless. I think that is... That isn't bad, because her primary role is support, even though I barely use these. I should use them more. And again, her primary role is still... Uh, support. Aura of Protection also reduces incoming range damage by 3. I think that is also really good. Yeah, that's not really that good. Encounter, yeah. Meh. So it's either Wish of Death so we get one more AP, but I think that's the weakest. And then cooldown for support skills. Or that the R of protection gives mental debuff resist and at least ranged. I think this one is even better. And ice. Music attack gains armor breaking is also really good. What is mental diva versus good against? Magical status effects. What is a magical status effect? Is frozen a magical status effect? We faced a bunch of those, so I think we just make that one stronger. That is like the main playstyle I have her with me for to go and stand behind them um, and, and provide them with her buff, like with her aura of protection, and then do more buffing. Okay, well, Fairy Knight and Lady Gwynevere are and Le Sir Kay are far ahead. Now, Sir Balin gained vitality, so he is fully healed. Lady Dindrain still needs to have her injury healed. We have new challenge rewards. Heal 300 vitality at the hospice. Um, grants 15% additional vitality to selected hero. Ah, who do we give that to? I think Sir Bruno Lenoir was the one. Black Knight, I think, struggled even more with um, vitality. Armor 13, armor 14. He has defensive stance, so I think Black Knight. But he's the one with all the hexes. Like, it's probably not the best idea to... Give it to the Black Knight. Do we give it to... Sir K? He already has 74. We haven't really scratched vitality on like any of the heroes, but yeah, it has to go to one of our frontliners. I need to take out Sir Bruno Lenoir more often and see how I like these skills.
Yeah, it's difficult to decide for me. Either I want to put it on Sir K or Sir Mordred. 15% additional vitality. That's a good chunk. But he generally has more armor. Well, here he doesn't. Yeah, we have to see who we want to give that to. I'm probably going to give it to one of these. I, I want to see how I like Sir Bruno Lenoir. Black Knight is, I think, very niche. Fairy Knight has decent vitality. And the other shouldn't need it. Maybe... Sir Balin. When he gets caught out in the middle of nowhere, that he can survive. But I think it's really like either Sir Mordred or Sir Kay. They're the ones that that take most of the tanking for the most important missions. Lady Dendra and get vitality, very good. Uh, another challenge reward grants plus two perception to the selected hero, mm. and uh, kill two thousand enemies. Grants 2 AP for the first kill each turn to the selected hero. Okay, that is something... That is something we want here. I think. Each turn. Yeah, he does so much damage. That is absolutely going to him. And I think for Sir K... We add the vitality. Sir Palias, he already has a ginormous amount of vitality. Like, look at that. Nine or ten, no, nine or eight vitality more than these. Actually, Sir K already has a ton of vitality as well. It would be either Sir Bruno Lenoir or the Black Knight, I think. Okay, those were all of that. We have a new main mission, Heart of the Deep Wood. So that was 16 already. And the Artificer. So we have to train the ones we don't take. Let's see what the description for this mission is. The Seely Artificer. The mysterious recluse who reforged the Excalibur for me hasn't really spoken to anyone since he arrived in Camelot, but he has just come to me with an offer that could be beneficial for both of us. He wants me to send knights to a secret cave and collect his tools from his arcane smithy. It will be dangerous, but with the tools he could be even more useful. He would also join us for this quest. Why would he join us? So I think I'm going to bring Sir Mordred because he's mandatory for all the um, story missions and I want to get him to level 15. Then I think Sir Bruno Lenoir. Do we bring Sir, e Sir Evain maybe? Because he has useful skills. And do we try Sir Balan or Sir Tegir? Yeah, let's let's try how good um, the vanguards are against the unseely. Oh, seely, not unseely this time. And a high amount of experience. That's good. Okay, so these will be in our mission, and then we have to send others to the training ground that don't go who is most important to train I think Lady Guinevere who is Tula well she's already 15 um Sir Pallias. yeah he's close leveling up anyway. Anybody who has only one turn left for training. 
the battle and would only have one turn left. But he should level up anywhere. So Tegger just leveled up. So who is the most important? Sir K also just leveled up. So Sir Ector, I think we want to train. I don't know if we want to train Sir Tegger. Maybe we do want to put her into Sir K or Lady Guinevere. I would love to train Lady Dendrain, but she still needs to heal from her injury. Who do we have left? We have Sir K. Yeah, let's do that. They still get um, the XP after missions, even if I take them out. And can we do anything else with them? Not really. Oh, anything on the merchant that we care about? We have a rune. Um, less damage, plus one AP. Not worth it. And sorry. Okay, is this something less damage, more armor breaking? We gain three HP per hit while outnumbered. Three damage until the end of the counter for each kill. That's not bad. Plus five damage against Sealy and Unsealy. Also not bad. I think the one we have right now is just better. And then you have a rare one. What is your bow? Less damage. We kind of need the damage. Alright, armors! Uh, who had really trash armor? Or who they were? Oh, he has green armor. That is awful. But we also don't have another one on offer. Do we want to upgrade that one? We can. We can actually do that in the forge. Go to the Black Knight. Where do you put it? Don't do that. And either we enhance it, but that makes it level 15. But what I want is... Reforge Rarity. The next round, that should be done. Okay, Merchant. Anything else we would care about? Trinkets. Buy a Topaz. Uh, we probably should... Yeah, we should make sure everybody has potions on them. Because we don't want to run out of those. Okay, well, we're ready for the next mission. The Artificer. And ready to get our Smith's tool back. I'm going to do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.